For many people, when you see a Ferris wheel, it reminds you of that scene from The Notebook, two young lovers falling in love. Well, for one lady, it screams out wedding bells. I'm Michael McCrudden, and we got the full story on this proposal, marriage, and renewal of vows between a woman and a Ferris wheel, here for you on I.O. And the priest said, I now tie you, woman, and steal. That's right, Linda and her husband, Bruce, he's a Ferris wheel. They have renewed their vows after 30 years of being together. And let me tell you, this relationship, it's had its ups and downs. Linda first met Bruce, his real name being Skydiver, but she changed that, who wears the balls in this relationship. Anyway, they met back in 1982 when she was visiting a carnival out in Florida. And for her, it was love at first sight. And she said, I got this weird feeling I can't explain. My heart was pounding as we went up the platform and got on the ride. I felt like I was being taken by this ride. <laughs> this is ridiculous. But this isn't Linda's first relationship with an inanimate object. She's had a previous affair with an airplane, and she's also had sex with a train. She railed it so hard, it got derailed. Linda's relationship to Bruce, it hasn't always been roses and rainbows, a storm. In 1986, it knocked Bruce over. What's with this woman? Everything she loves kind of falls apart. Bruce was later sent to a farmer's field 3,000 miles away, but that didn't stop Linda. She'd make travels out and find him, and has since acquired the scrap metal. Linda has plans to rebuild Bruce and have it on her property, but in the meantime, you know, to show her faith, her commitment, they've renewed their vows. She found a Catholic priest who is now out of work because the church didn't like what he was doing, but regardless, he showed up and they held a ceremony in which Linda said to Bruce, I, Linda, take you, Bruce, in this sacred marriage. I pledge to you my heart, my body, and my spirit. For those of you who are questioning, is this all legal? Can you actually marry a Ferris wheel, a car, an airplane? Well, no, the marriage isn't actually legally binding. The laws in Florida and many states is that the two people must attend in person to get the marriage license. So if she could perhaps bring the Ferris wheel into the building, up to the little kiosk, take a number and wait, she might get a chance but I doubt he'll fit in through the door. Linda isn't the only one falling in love with weird stuff. We've made all sorts of videos. There's a guy who got married to a tree. There's also a man who's had sex with over 300 cars and has since tied the knot with the love of his life, a Volkswagen Beetle. It's called Objectum Sexuality and apparently all these people suffer from it. What do you guys think? Do you think it's inappropriate for her to fall in love with the Ferris wheel? I mean, the Ferris wheel is meant for young people to fall in love on, not with. Well, let us know what you think in the comments below.